Hey Coburg fans, we're here with the man behind our new club song, Polash Larson. Polash, how does it feel to be singing Coburg's new song? Um, well, it's, you know, it's a very catchy song. I'm glad the job's done. It's stuck in my head. I really want to get rid of it out of my head. But, um, you know, if, if the club does its part, or more importantly, the teams do its part, we'll be hearing it a lot, won't we? Absolutely, we hope we do. And can you first tell us about a bit about your background in music, how you got involved, and then how you ended up doing the song for us? Um, well, uh, look, it's a funny sort of story. Um, the club initially expressed some interest in me as an artist as part of an arts in residency program that Moreland Council was putting forward, and then worked out that um, maybe I was a bit of better fit to fix a really sort of short-term problem. So. Uh, I'm a musician, and amongst other things that I do, and um, the club put it to me, could I re-record the song, and I said, yes, and uh, you know, I met the really important criteria, I was available, and I could do it on short notice. Um, but there was also some other things that made me a good, maybe an unexpectedly good fit for this particular situation. So one, I'm local, I live in Moreland, I was born on Moreland Road, um, the second is that uh, I have a background in community sport. Um, probably not every musician you get a contract to do says that um, or can say that. Uh, in fact, in 2011, I won a Victorian Government Community Sports Award for um, raising awareness around gender diversity in sport as part of the Fair Go Sport Project. And a lot of things have kind of flown on from that in the last decade. So um, that's me. You know, I work in inclusion, it's very important to me personally. Um, the way I've approached the song, because representation is really important, uh, I've given the club a couple of versions. So there's an instrumental version. So down the track, you don't want to hear a man singing it, or more specifically, you don't want to hear me singing it. You can uh, bring in someone else to sing it, you can form a choir out of members of the club, you can do anything with it and then re-record over that backing track. So you've got a lot of flexibility going forward. And that was really just me thinking about how you might want to keep the song fresh and relevant and new as you go forward. Speaking of keep, keeping the song fresh and relevant, we've obviously have made some word changes. Do you want to speak us through, you know, the Coburg Pride removing of Kill em and Thrill em and things like that? Well, look, that was a, that was a really, you know, I can't take any credit for that. Um, it's really something that came out of the club itself. And I've, you know, full credit to the board of the club. Not only did the board see those lyrics as a problem and recognise it was a problem, but they actually had the humility to go and talk to all the stakeholders and find out some, you know, find out some interesting things about how the club views itself and maybe about a direction on how the club wants to see itself going forward. So, um, you know, it's more, there's more to it than the fact that you've got a high-performing women's team, and maybe those players don't want to be singing We Are The Coburg Boys, right? There's a bit more to it than that. I think similarly, you know, the board and maybe some of the parents having concerns about juniors, you know, promoting violence, even though, you know, big cats do kill and eat things. Um, you know, I think, I think it's a bit of a grandfather's axe type situation. You, know, you refresh the words to keep them relevant to who you want to be at this time. And um, I think that's, you know, I think that's a very positive thing. Yeah, it definitely is. We're so excited to see the new club song be sung loud and clear in the roofs. Can you tell us also a bit, you mentioned earlier about your involvement in inclusion, how important diversity is to you. Can you speak about, you know, those values and, and how important they are to you? Yeah, well, I, my background in community sport is in field hockey. It's in hockey. And, um, it's a sport that on the surface of it is uh, very representative, you know, but it's representative in a heteronormative way. So in all my years of being a male player, for example, there was never, um, you know, in my younger years, it was never the environment where you could have uh, players who were comfortable enough about their gender that they could reveal that they were gay, for example, right? It was a very well accepted thing on the women's side of sport, it was considered to be more inclusive. But in about a decade ago, I started wondering why it was. Was there something deficient, actually? Maybe we weren't as welcoming or as inclusive as we thought. We were very good on ethnic diversity. Um, maybe less representative in class diversity or socioeconomic diversity. 
very, very good on age diversity. I mean, summer comps, you have, you know, three generations all playing in the same team together, you know, it'll be like grandma playing with her son and daughter and like, you know, two of the grandkids, and they'll make up half a team between them. But there was, to my way of thinking, there must have been something missing because it wasn't a space that was safe for everyone. And so I just started to kind of pick it a bit at these sort of questions and um, the Fair Go Sport project popped up. I was in a position of being the president of my club at the time. Um, and a lot of frank and learning discussions came out of that. So, you know, we're, here we are a decade later and uh, footy is starting to catch up, you know, well done. Um, but yeah, you know, it's our, it's our indigenous sport that holds a really special place culturally for us. So, you know, it should be a safe space for everyone to take part. It certainly should. Thank you so much for your time, Paul. We look forward to, like I said, singing the, singing the um, song in the club rooms nice and loud and proud. Well, get your preparation right. You'll win some games and you will be singing the song. Absolutely. Good for you to join us. Thank you.